Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Platter. This is a video to help you prepare for your CCSP examination. I will link the playlist of CCSP in the description box where you will have other videos also. Today's topic is cloud computing roles and responsibilities. First role is Cloud Service Provider, CSP. Cloud Service Provider is a company or organization that delivers or offers cloud computing services and resources to customers over the internet. Customers can be individuals, businesses, or other entities. And these cloud services can include computing power, storage, networking, and various applications. CSPs operate and manage data centers with the infrastructure required to provide these cloud services. Next role is cloud service customer. So I mentioned cloud service provider CSP offers cloud services to customers, right? That customer is called cloud service customer. A cloud service customer is an individual or organization or entity that utilizes or consumes cloud services and resources offered by a cloud service provider that is CSP. Cloud service customer can purchase, rent, or lease cloud, uh, cloud computing services. Next role is cloud service user. A user is a person or entity which can be like a device that uses cloud computing services on behalf of the CSP, like for example, employees of an organization. Next role is cloud service broker. A broker purchases services from cloud service providers and then resells them to its own customers. Broker provides service intermediation, aggregation and arbitrage. Next role is cloud carrier. Carrier is an intermediary providing connectivity and transport of cloud services between provider and customer like for example an ISP. Next role is Cloud Service Partner. Partner is an individual or group that supports the provision, use or other activities of the cloud service provider, the cloud service customer or both. Next role is Cloud Access Security Broker, CASB. CASBs are third party providers that provide IAM services, identity and access management services, single sign-on that is SSO, certificate management, key management services, cryptographic key escrow and monitoring services for the customers. And they also provide a centralized cloud policy enforcement. Next role is cloud operator. Operator is responsible for daily operational tasks. Next role is cloud service operations manager. Operations manager oversees and manages the operations and performance of cloud services provided to customers. Next role is technical account manager. Technical account manager provides account support and high level technical guidance to cloud customers. Next role is Cloud Service Integrator. Integrator connects and integrates existing services and apps with cloud-based services. Next role is Cloud Service Admin. Admin tests, monitors, and secures cloud services. Admin provides usage reporting, and they also deal with service problems. Next role is Cloud Application Architect. They support in adapting, porting, and deploying the applications. Next role is Cloud Architect. Cloud Architect designs, develops, and manages cloud solutions. Next role is Cloud Data Architect. Cloud Data Architect designs and structures data related components in a cloud environment. This includes considerations for data storage, processing, management, including SLA and security in the context of cloud computing. Next role is Cloud Service Manager. A cloud service manager is responsible for business agreement 
and pricing for the cloud customer. Next role is cloud storage admin. A cloud storage admin is responsible for storage provisioning. That is the process of allocating storage resources to users or applications. They're also responsible for data migration, storage monitoring and optimization, backup and recovery planning, data retention policies, data security and encryption, and manage uh, storage volume. Next role is Cloud Service Business Manager. Cloud Service Business Manager oversees business and billing administration. Next role is Regulator. A regulator is a regulatory body or agency responsible for overseeing and enforcing compliance with laws, regulations, and standards related to specific industries or areas, including information security and data protection. So it's an entity responsible for establishing and enforcing regulatory requirements and compliance standards. Next role is Cloud Auditor. Cloud Auditor is responsible for conducting an audit of the cloud environments. They're responsible for evaluating and ensuring the security and compliance of cloud environments. They conduct assessments, examinations, and evaluations of cloud service providers and their cloud environments to ensure they meet security standards, comply with regulations, and follow best practices. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned a little bit about roles and responsibilities in cloud computing. If you like today's video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos it will help us a lot i will see you in another video with another topic until then take care of yourselves bye bye